What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and boy, do I got some news for you guys today. But first, make sure you clickety-clack that like button and hit that subscribe button if you like hanging out here. Okay, so let's check out the price first of Terra Luna Classic because it's actually holding strong. Now, of course, we had a huge pullback the other day, dipped down to the fours, and a huge rally last night off of the news of that the uh, burn proposal did pass. Although it's a small burn proposal, something is better than nothing. Thing. So if you're a Terra Luna Classic holder, the price is still up. It's still steady, still very volatile, still a extremely risky play to jump into. So be cautious that anything you put into Terra Luna Classic, you could be losing it. But here's what I mean. Here's what I mean. Let's go to actually check out Terra Luna 2.0 and talk about why I think that Terra Luna 2.0 may be in trouble if you're thinking about both of these projects um, as an investment. Now, it is up 22% today off of uh, you know, being down to $2, but still $3 is pretty bad, um, especially after this news. Check this out. So Duquan supposedly, allegedly sent $80 million a month to secret wallets. Now, this post came out from the Watch Guru earlier today. A very, very interesting post that could be, that could be pretty bad for the Terra Luna Foundation. So it says, um, Terra employees reportedly confirmed to the SEC that Do Kwan cashed out $80 million a month prior to the Luna and UST crash. Now, what's funny is that Do Kwan actually posted earlier today about maybe not listening to, you know, quote unquote, employees on the inside of Terraform Labs. So maybe he was just trying to get in front of this, but you don't want the SCC digging around in the in, in, in the company. Now, here's the thing. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. Like We really have to see what happens when the smoke settles, when the dust settles, right? So let's read this article real quick. So it says, uh, Terra's Do Kwan seems to be in more trouble as a U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, so the SEC, has reportedly got its hands on the money laundering activity of Do Kwan. Now, this is pretty strong allegations because we don't know if that's true. I know Watcher Guru is kind of running with this, but that's an accusation right there, right? Maybe it's true. We don't know, right? The agency uh, has also launched an investigation to inquire about Terra's sudden fall. So um, the US, uh, so the SEC recently conducted a remote video survey of some of Terra's key designers and focused on inquiring about Terra's poor design structure. Now, there was like a quote that came out a few weeks ago. Apparently, uh, someone on the inside said that, you know, Do Kwan knew that it could all come crashing down and still wanted to proceed with the project anyway. So very interesting. Uh, Naver stated that the JTBC had previously reported and predicted the fall and collapse of the terrorist ecosystem, but highlighted that they were ignored. So kind of like negligence, you know, and, you know, negligence uh, when it comes to, you know, criminal, criminal you know, activity or anything like that, doesn't matter. Negligence is, st you're still going to be guilty if you know something was wrong or wasn't going to work, right? I mean, literally destroyed a lot of lives uh, with this crash. I mean, there were so many videos out, you know, months ago where people were investing, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars into Anchor Protocol, uh, wanting to get that 20% APY on their, you know, on their dollar. So insane, insane. Um, so if we go down to this report, it continues. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission reportedly discovered a situation where $80 million, 100 billion won of the company's funds every month were sent to a different wallets for the operating expense. This reportedly happened a few months before the collapse of Terra. This particular activity, according to the reports, is what raised money laundering suspicious, suspicions uh, about Do Kwan. So that's very interesting. I mean, it's crazy that you know the United States government and just governments in general, they're going to start getting people who are experts on the blockchain, who can follow these transactions, who can see what's going on. Because the big appeal to cryptocurrency has been an enemy. But as we can see... We're going to get rid of some of that. And I think that honestly, guys, the only real way to get some sort of mass adoption is to get rid of some of the anonymity. And I know I, know I, I hate that. Um, but when it comes to some decentralized exchanges or some projects, I think KYC is important because so many people get scammed and no one no one takes any no one has anyone to blame for it. Like no one takes accountability for it. So. So it says, uh, JTBC reported that the SEC has secured internal statements that revealed that the funds followed into dozens of cryptocurrency wallets. 
Interesting. One of the key internal informants said that Do Kwan had not received any official payment from the company. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, uh, has been investigating Kwan Do uh, for violating the Securities Act, claiming that the blockchain service that made it possible to buy U.S. equities with Terra was a violation of the Securities Act. Now, there's a lot of gray area when it comes to what's a security and what's not a a security in the cryptocurrency world. And I think that's what this new you know, uh, executive order that Joe Biden was really about when he put it out. It's about getting some sort of black and white area and getting rid of all the gray areas. Uh, it says, if the charges are found to be true, Quan could face legal action in the United States. At the moment, Do Quan is innocent until proven guilty of all allegations in the court of law. So this is important, right? This is important. And I know that they say this at the end of the article, but watch it, we're throwing some statements out there. But I mean, this is something we talked about for weeks. It's like, we don't know what's going to happen when it comes to Terra Luna. So when it comes to Terra Luna 2.0, I mean, I, I think that the fate of this project really rests on what the hell is going to happen with the SEC, Do Kwan, and then the Korean government. But when it comes to Terra Classic, I mean, it's a community token now. So this thing's going to live and die by the community. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.